Just here, kid. There you go. He's going to sit behind me. I was decided I was going to record before anybody noticed what I was doing. And just as I was grabbing my headset and plugging it in, he walked in the room with his iPad. And saw the camera up and of course went, oh, my, I, get to, I get to be on TV too. So there you go. This is what we get. Um, notice that I don't think I put anything up for Friday. I don't know for sure, I forget. And I know for sure there was nothing that went up. No, there's no way anything went up on Friday because that's our errand day and I had to go pick up my oldest boy and we actually left early. It, we got stuck in a time suck because we left early, went to a store we normally go to, we just did it in reverse because usually we do that one last and we did it first. And I'm thinking, okay, we're still in time. We can go get everything else done before we pick up my, my oldest. We went to that one store, and then we went and picked up my oldest, and then went to the other stores. And still, somehow, usually we make it home <laughs> at 4.30, 5 o'clock in that range. Um, close to 5 o'clock, 5.30, let's put it that way. And uh, we didn't make it home to like 8.30. And it, it, it's the time suck. We have no idea where it went or how it happened. And this weekend was just way too busy, and just way too busy. And I just went, ugh, ugh. If you miss the videos that much, then I will take my daughter's suggestion and make up a quick little video for every day that I missed. And then I went, no, I'm just, that just not going to happen. I have this much space on the chair. He has the rest of the chair behind me. He's just being a goop. I asked him this morning because he was playing in water in the bathroom and got water all over the sink and all over the floor. I said, why are you making a mess? Pointing out that he was making a mess, you know, I'm the Bubba. That's what I do. It's just one of those moments when you have to just go, yep, that, that's true. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a walk away now. After <laughs> I throw a towel down on your mess. <laughs> so, um, I have... Wah, no, really, please stop hitting me. Stop showing off. Um, this, I have no idea what I'm going to do here. Um, I had stuff to say, and then this happened. I have a list of stuff to do today, and I have this on my desk, which is from my daughter. No, no, no. From my daughter, and she told me last night as I was going to bed that she was going to be making a video. And I don't know why that's on my desk. No. Um, I know I have, I need to catch up on 29 faces. I need to catch up on working in my February journal because working in the February journal uh, is nothing like what I did for the January journal. In the January journal, there was art and there was collage. And there's this one page that keeps folding over. And yeah, I keep doing stuff. I'm doing my faces in this book, but I'm not doing all my faces in this book. Although I do try and do one every day. Um, I haven't done it. Apparently the 10th, because there's for the 9th, uh, I haven't done it since the 10th, and today is what, the 13th? I haven't done it all weekend, so I know for sure, didn't do any videos, because I haven't worked in this journal. I'm not collaging, I'm not putting little brave girl things, and I'm not, uh, every day has, I'm doing the uh, Lisa Sonora 30 day journey thing, and I have that on some of the pages. And then I just put little, like, notations. I'm not doing anything like I did last time. And that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, I am trying to finish the one cloth that I am doing for my boyfriend for his birthday. He's grown, his birthday is Groundhog Day. I'm halfway through with the second cloth, which originally these cloths were supposed to be for Christmas. And I should have had plenty of time, but I have this. 
This is why I can't make hats anymore. I used to knit hats. I used to knit one hat for every family member every year. That one, when he was smaller, I would knit a couple because I would do like cute characters and owls and Frankenstein monsters and all sorts of stuff. And I can't decrease with him around because I can't count. And it's very difficult for me to do the dishcloths because I do... Oh my God, I need to show you. I usually have... I had a stack of patterns here recently. I was trying to go through them, and I apparently moved them to put them somewhere safe. But the whole thing is, it's a pattern. Like, the cloth I'm working on now says number one dad. So every row is numbered. You know, you purl two, knit three, purl six, knit four, that kind of thing. You can't do that around him. My brain just goes... Bloom. And it's not... It's not that he sets out to do this, unless I'm knitting and he sits on my lap, in which case he sits right here, takes up my whole lap, and I can't do anything. So, uh, that's, I can't knit hats, because I can't do the decreases, because for, he's, he'll be five this year, for three years, I think I have not been able to make hats. And in fact, the annual dishcloth swap, the scrubby exchange that I'm in the process of working on, is just a vicious cloth. <laughs> It is the first time since the year he was born, I believe, that I've done this, done this. And I've never done the scrubby one. And I'm just like, I'm going to make myself do this. Done it. Although I did have an epiphany this weekend. <clears throat> because a while ago, this, this is how we work. A while ago, uh, for Christmas, my daughter, who's my oldest, got a Kindle Fire. And the whole point was to take care of it. Because she has... She had a Kindle before, not a Kindle Fire, just a regular Kindle, and um, it was in her room. Her room was a disaster, and it got stepped on. It wasn't her Kindle. It's my Kindle, and I still have some books on there that I want. <laughs> but she trashed the screen, and uh, we figured she had been doing better and trying, and this was a couple of years ago. So it, her, her wants and needs have progressed from the Kindle Fire. But we gave her the Kindle Fire, and I don't think she had it a full year before, you know, the room was a mess, and we're going, oh my god, if she steps on that, I, we're, we're just going to have to kill her. Because it was really, really coming down to, oh, there it is on the floor, oh, yeah. And she stopped doing chores, she stopped doing all her stuff, and just, you know, would vanish into the online world either. And do nothing in the real world, and we finally reached that point of, okay, we're done. We're taking the Kindle back, and you can earn it back or not. And she had earned it back once, got it taken away again, and pissed me off so much I said, I don't care. She is not getting it back this time. Well, we put the Kindle fire up. And we lost it. <laughs> we put it somewhere safe. It was safe, man. I mean, it, um, we we donate a lot. We donate we donate to like help Vietnam veterans, you know, clothing donations, household goods, that kind of stuff. We donate them to all the t all the time. I have three growing kids. Got to get rid of stuff as they grow, especially in my teenager. Now I have two teenagers. Wow. Uh, but um, she has a habit of going through her room and just stuffing stuff in the bags and not really watching. She has donated books that she dearly loves that belong to her to the library because she has to take back the library books and just dumps them and doesn't check. She donates stuff when we, we do donations that she doesn't mean to donate because she's not paying attention. We have spent two, maybe three years asking her if she wasn't sure she donated the Kindle because I'm telling you, we tore the house apart. So, <clears throat> last week. My boyfriend needs to find his squeak holes, which do not ask me why we keep them here, but we do. Thank you. We keep them behind the printer stand. No, boy, that one. Are you naked? Oh, good. Don't don't show everybody. Just stay right there. But <clears throat> his squeak holes were behind the printer stand. He pulled them out. We found the Kindle. <laughs> and this story is going somewhere. Hold on, one moment, please. Um, but. It's like, oh, thank God we found it, because, I mean, we've been going nuts looking for this goofy thing forever. Um, so we charge it up, and I'm using it. We are not giving it back to the girl, even though her room is a lot better. 
She has an iPod. She doesn't need the Fire now. But um, using the Kindle Fire now, especially now that we have a Prime account, it's like, oh, okay. Because originally, when, when, I, when we took it away from Eve and said, no, there's nothing she can do to earn it back. Okay, Mom gets it. No, I didn't want it. There's too many ads. There's not a lot I can do with it. And it's annoying. Which, it's still not anything like what I need. It's still annoying. <laughs> but now, since we have a Prime account, I can listen to music on it. And I can get audiobooks. And I downloaded something by Alan Cumming, who I love dearly. <clears throat> dearly, dearly. And I listened to it. It was a free audiobook. And I'm like, this is what I need to do. This is how I can paint and knit and do other things, probably not read, kind of defeats the purpose. Um, but I can do audiobooks, and I think that would at least alleviate some stress. Of course, I read really esoteric stuff a lot of the times that there's no way. Uh, if, if you know that R.J. Stewart has audiobooks, please let me know. Let me know where to find them, dude. Because that'd be what I'm reading. But there's a lot of other stuff. I figured I would go to the library and see what they had with Glory and Virtue and other things. I don't do fiction. If you give me audiobooks and it's fiction, I tune it out. So I actually want something that might stick in my subconscious, like Doreen Virtue, and then be useful on that level, because I have spent my whole life since I was in high school learning how to drown things out. That's how I did my homework. I would put the music on, and by blocking the music out of my head, I studied better. Of course, Duran Duran will come in, and I can hear Duran Duran anywhere. And I'm right there. Still do it. <laughs> we walk into the store, and I'm like, I know that song. <laughs> even even the music, the music versions, you know, you're in the elevator, and you're like, I know that song. Yeah, but I can hear Simon's voice, even though it's, he's not singing it right now. That's, that's me. Um, but that's, that's what you get today. That's all I got. And my monster, see, he's right over there. And of course, you heard the rock socks. That's Roxy. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, she's looking at me like, really? This is what you're doing to me. Yes, it is. It's because I love you. This is how the day is going, this is how the week has started, and I will probably try and keep making videos on a daily basis, but I, I am not promising anything. I will probably not be making them on weekends unless I'm really, really determined, but we'll see. Um, I'll talk to you later. I have a lot of work to do today, so see ya.